Welcome back. <clears throat> As I was working on this, I figured I'd show you part two of the cork fitting. So I've been sand, uh, well, carved on it. Got it to fit somewhat okay, but you know, it's, I really want it to come down further. And I find that a nice easy way to do that is to get a piece of emery cloth. This is about 50 grit. Uh, it's real flexible, does some great stuff. You get in a roll, it goes a long way. But using the emery cloth, I'm able to now kind of keep moving the piece around and I can kind of start to sand a little bit of that angle that I really, really want to get on this piece so it'll fit in there nice and tight without any big issues going on, right? Just kind of keep on sanding. I can even fold it over to make a nice tight little corner point to sand with and get some real good areas where I can get it flat up against the top there. So we're gonna keep on working here. Just we're gonna find that this emery cloth, this bit of sanding, once you've got your overall shape of your cork shaved down with your razor blade, your exacto knife, your pocket knife, doing your little bit of whittling. You can come back in here, start sanding on it, and really start to get this thing to fit nice and tight and fit in there and really get a good function. So, you yeah, know, it does take time, but all good things do take time. Like I say, I'm not trying to redo this whole cork again, right? It's just gonna be ridiculous to, to, to do all that work, carve it, you know, and then go too far, and then have to stop and start all over from scratch. It's a waste of time. So take it easy, take it slow. And you'll find that going that route and then you can take a look and say okay let's see how much more we gotta carve down I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit of a take a look and see where I'm hanging up really it's kind of on that back side there so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this back side down a little bit Like I said, by using this little 50 grit, it's very aggressive. It will really take away a lot of that cork very fast. And so you want to go slow, like I say, step by step. All right, take another look. And every time I do this, I'm taking a look and I'm seeing, okay, where is it catching? Where is it hanging up? Keep it from sliding fully in. I see another little spot here. And then I'll just kind of mark it with my pencil. Say, so, okay, we're gonna work this little area here a little bit. Maybe this little area right back here. Make it those two areas. Once we get a little more of that work down, this piece will start fitting in nicely. that's it you know it, it's step by step by step eventually you get it all the way down the piece will be nice and we'll smooth sand around I don't want any. when I'm looking at, you know when I'm looking at it I'm kind of making sure that I got a nice angle going here you know a little bit of an angle so that the cork fits in there I don't want any you know weird bounces up there slowly getting closer and closer to fitting nice and snug and tight against that point take another look see okay where should we do some more kind of uh, I know that back section there and maybe hold that 
up under the sunlight there. Fake sunlight. Maybe a little bit right up in here. Pull that out. Start on the back side. It's, it's a maintain that curve around the back. Kind of curve my hand. Now I like, like I said, I'm using it as a simple piece there. Look how much tighter that fits than it did at the beginning of the video. <clears throat> and it is just slowly working each little part in until it fits snug. Or as snug as you want it to fit. You might want this one to fit a little snug, so we're going to kind of work it and work it until it is all the way in there. And like I said, this takes a little bit of time. Uh, yeah, the first video is about 15 minutes of me talking and, and, and carving, which is uh, pretty good. And uh, we're up to like six, seven minutes here. And you know, so it takes about 20 minutes, really 20, 30 minutes to, to get this to fit nice. Uh, probably goes a little bit faster if you're not jaw jacking with uh, random people on the internet. Um, but a little bit more shaping, and I can get this guy to fit real snug and tight. And I'll have one happy customer and, you know, one happy artist. This particular customer, he buys a lot of my pieces. He really has been a, a great supporter. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate it a lot. Um, I'm glad you like my work and you keep coming back. I haven't chased you off yet, so that's good. Uh, haven't created anything that's just way out there and you just don't want to buy it. But he really has been a, a great, 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 great patron of the arts. And that's kind of what you want, right? You want, you want a patron. You want, you want somebody who's really gonna kind of like your stuff and, and work it. There we go, getting tighter and tighter. Nice little gap there. As you can see, you start to see what it's gonna look like with the cork in place. It's gonna fit nicely. Um, then sometimes the ways you can do it, you can finish off the top of the cork. I've used. Uh, tool dip before to finish off the top of the cork. It gives it a nice matte finish and gives a little bit of grip. Uh, I've used acrylic paints, you know, whatever you want to, to finish it to make it fit. And I think I might actually for this one probably go with a little bit of acrylic paint, just some black acrylic, kind of seal it and make it so it's not so visually, you know, it doesn't stand out there so much. Well, the black will help to uh, well, it'll tie in nicely with the browns and the black details in the underglaze. Coffee, same coffee from the first video. Haven't been in here that long. But as always, if you like what you see, if you got comments, you got questions, drop those below. Um, give me a big thumbs up if you like it. If you don't like it, whatever. Uh, yeah, if you want to see more, as I say, please hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends, tell your enemies, tell your frenemies. Oh, yeah, I know those words. It's the frenemy word. Um, and, you know, go make yourself something out of clay. <laughs>